Welcome to Vario's special event. Grats. Today, VR and mixed reality company Vario teased that they had a huge announcement that could change VR. And unlike most of these announcements where they tease something big like that, they actually kind of delivered at least on some pretty cool concepts. Let's talk about it. Welcome to Vario's special event. Now, for those of you who haven't heard of Vario, they've had a couple of different VR and mixed reality type headsets, the most recent one being the XR3. They've been relatively known in the VR community, but only to those of us who are very involved, not in a consumer-driven headset company. Today, we'll reveal for the first time how everything we've done so far connects together. They teased that they were gonna have a virtual announcement today at 12 p.m. Eastern time. That was gonna be huge. Vario is pioneering a new reality where the real and the virtual worlds merge into a single cloud-driven experience. Now, right there, he said something huge. He's talking about not augmented reality and not specifically virtual reality, but basically taking the two and bringing them together. This vision will elevate humanity during the next decade more than any other technology. Can. Bring the entire industry together. What if you could see the virtual world as clearly as you can see the real world? What he's talking about here is photorealism, a very common concept, not only in virtual reality, but in gaming, is making the gaming world, the virtual world, look just as real and good as the actual physical world. We were able to create a product that brought human eye resolution VR and the physical surroundings together in a true mixed reality. So far, he's just talking about what they've already done to build up to get us to this future that they're trying to announce and bring up now, showing you how it is more possible than most people think by what they've already accomplished. And now we are ready to reveal the bigger vision connecting everything that we worked on. The next step for Vario is to harness the infinite computing power of the cloud to enable both capturing and sharing the entire physical reality around us in real time. What he's saying here is absolutely huge. That's saying that due to computing power of the cloud, this is not gonna expect every single person to have a super high powered PC. You would be able to capture your entire physical reality around you. So you could be standing in your living room and this would capture all of that, recreate it, and then you could have someone else enter this space with you and be there in this space with you virtually. This is not, oh, let's hop on and go hang out in a room and rec room. This is, hey, do you wanna to come to my living room and hang out and watch TV or do something here with me? All we have to have on is headsets and we'll be able to physically see the same space as each other. Barrier Reality Cloud is our platform that will allow the ultimate science fiction dream for the realistic teleportation come true. Any screen or headset. So that means you don't have to have everybody having a virtual reality headset. Someone could be using their phone while two people have VR and be seeing the same space, the same recreation there, just in 2D, obviously not in three dimension. This, this is really exciting and really interesting. Let's keep going. Anybody will be able to capture the surroundings in 3D and invite somebody else to join in that same exact reality. Now, one question they're not answering here that I really wanna know, obviously this is showing it's mapping your entire surroundings. It's pulling it into virtual reality, augmented reality, mixed reality, whatever you want to call this iteration. It's pulling it all into a virtual representation of the real thing that looks like real life. But yes, you will be there. Yes, other people will be there. They have not specified how will you see each other. Because if it's still with avatars, that's going to pull you out heavily. It needs to be, if everything looks photorealistic, we need a very real representation of the people in the room with us. And that's a whole nother realm of how difficult that could be to capture. Virtual teleportation makes human connection more real and efficient than ever before and allows our physical place to become completely irrelevant. Now imagine that you're going on vacation and you're going to see a castle in Europe that you've always wanted to see. And you get there and you think, man, my mom would cry if she saw this. She's always wanted to go here. She can strap on her headset and virtually teleport with you there. It would be real-time scanning, 
recreating your surroundings with you there and she'd pop into the same room instantly and see exactly what you're seeing in photo realistic vision. That is absolutely amazing. And again, I, I really hope they go into how you would be represented physically. Like, is there gonna be cameras that are actually showing your body too? But this is, I mean, this is the closest we've come to a holodeck yet. And this is really exciting. The low latency video pass through in our mixed reality headset digitizes the world in real time, in perfect detail. And our unique LiDAR hardware and software transforms the capture into a highly accurate 3D reconstruction of your surroundings. They're making some big promises here about all of this. Uh, I don't imagine the first, second, or even third iteration of what they're trying to do here will deliver quite like they're saying, but even if it comes close, this is still gonna be revolutionary. Virtual teleportation will be based on near infinite computing available in the Vario Reality Cloud. As said, Vario XR3 and VR3 will be the first products to unlock access to our reality cloud and eventually to full-fledged virtual teleportation. If you share our vision of creating a metaverse of the future grounded in reality, join us and let's bring it to life. Some big promises and very exciting words from Vario there. I absolutely hope they can deliver on this. There's been a, a debate a long time in the in the VR AR realm. Will VR win? Will AR win? And I've often said I believe that it'll be an iteration of something that merges the two into something more functional and useful for the entire world. And this seems like a concrete first step. This is taking the real world and augmenting it into an entirely virtual world. So you can see real world objects, real time, everything happening, but you can also change all of it virtually. Human connection and people being together is a lot of what VR is banking on to get to the next level. It's gaming is amazing in it, but people using it to communicate, using it to spend time together, using it to create content is all the things that's gonna take it further. And that's what Facebook is betting on. That's what Vario is apparently betting on. And it's what I've been really hoping to see because I love gaming in it, but it, I always have said it can do so much more than just gaming. These are some, some very realistic looking goals and plans they've laid in place and steps to get there, but it's still a ways from the vision that they're laying out. So they've got some work to do uh, and I'm gonna be there to support in any way I can, because I think this is very exciting. What do you think? I'd love to hear in the comment section. Do you think this is possible? Do you think this is useful? Does it matter at all to you? What would it change if it actually came true tomorrow? What would it change for your life? What would you do differently with it? I'm excited. I want to see more of this. So thank you to Vario for your exciting announcements in the video today. Thank you to all of you for spending some of your time here with me today. And I will see you in another reality. I want to say the biggest thank you to those of you who have become channel members and any of you who have ever been patrons of ours.